part two. In part one, I read the first page of this two-page writing, and I will pick up where I left off from part one. Well, it's no wonder to me why no partial law fraudulent judge in the U.S. would convict NSA's Michael Aquino for torturing, raping, and murdering children in the U.S. Those kind of judges are too busy looking to exploit taxpayers for more of their whore's wages. So the fraudulent judges of partial law let their VIP child molesters off the hook in their corruption till they all burn for it but they put a stamp of approval on bullcrap laws of legal extortion for more money. That's how U.S. taxpayers whose children have been in danger of national security voyeurs have been exploited even more through some antichrist laws of legal extortion. What is a law like click it or ticket to God but the theft of a fraudulent government? not ordained by him, but voted for by taxed slaves. Moreover, how worthless can their court without the temple be for taxpayers who pay for expensive and corrupt laws that are used to rob them? Now since the court without the temple is given to Gentiles, per Revelation 11, let's all understand who the real Gentiles are without Christ. Ephesians 2, 10 and 11, For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. Wherefore remember that ye being in time past Gentiles in the flesh, who are called uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands. That information in Ephesians was given to saints at Ephesus that were in time past Gentiles. And the reason why they were no longer Gentiles is because they were converted the right way. Romans 2:28 and 29, For he is not a Jew which is one outwardly, neither is that circumcision which is outward in the flesh. But he is a Jew which is one inwardly, and circumcision is that of the heart, in the spirit, and not in the letter, whose praise is not of men, but of God. Yes, indeed, the court without the temple is given to unconverted Gentiles, like uncircumcised in heart King Baby. And it's obvious to me that he's a law transgressing Gentile as the pig is into selling child molestation to U.S. taxpayers who have been paying Satanists to rape three-year-old girls. Can you hear me now, Koofy? Do any of you Koofy idolaters have three-year-old daughters or granddaughters for your synagogue of Satan rabbis to rape? But for the readers of this writing who can hear the truth of these things I say, please take a copy of this writing and send it to the IRS and NSA Child Molester Associates in Synagogue of Satan Crime. These IRS and NSA conformists to Satan are truly guilty by association for laundering taxpayer money to pay child molesters to screw children. Don't think that I'm not furious over their abominations against God and children. And I'm in process of putting their federal government out of business, no matter how much their mall whore wives or self-serving husbands like their child exploitation money. Woe unto NSA law transgressors who pose as national security heroes but rob children horribly through lies instead. It would be better for certain child-exploiting adults if they were never born, considering their day of judgment. And I'm making a declaration of war against the law-pervert leaders of Islam and Judaism until their perverted religions come to nothing. Shall I not terrorize and beat these people to pieces while singing the Song of Moses and the Song of the Lamb? As sure as I hear God's voice in this matter of child molesting religions, I will beat these people to pieces who transgress against him in these abominations against children. Call it the God-given authority that was given to me that Obama's corporate whore doesn't have. 
I died to the world and was raised again in the newness of life through the power of Christ's resurrection. Revelation 2, 26 and 27. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. As the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. Jeremiah 9.11 And I will make Jerusalem heaps and a den of dragons, and I will make the cities of Judah desolate without an inhabitant. Let it be known to all that old Jerusalem is a spiritually desolate whore to God, and she's on the edge of destruction. Luke 21, verses 20 to 22. And when ye shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies, then know that the desolation thereof is nigh. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains, and let them which are in the midst of it depart out, and let not them that are in the countries enter therein too. For these be the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. So, with old Jerusalem's destruction in mind, let us also understand that the covenant that Daniel was referring to in chapter 9, verse 27, the new covenant was already confirmed with many disciples. That covenant is not a signed contract between some antichrist and Israel that happens after some rebuilt temple of Solomon, contrary to popular belief. Solomon is just a dead guy who made a high place for child sacrifice in his Molech worship as a worthless reprobate. You see, the real temple of God, not Solomon's, is the body of Christ that is made of lively stones. It's not built by masons. As it is written in John 2, 21 and 22, But he spake of the temple of his body. When therefore he was risen from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this unto them, and they believed the scripture and the word which Jesus had said. Don't believe the lies of established by man counterfeit church sellouts that just string people along for money. Those self-serving hypocrites of special status are not in the body of Christ at all. Matthew 25, verses 33 and 34. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come ye, blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Matthew 25:41. Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire prepared for the devil and his angels. And I won't miss the goats at all. James 2, 8 to 10. If ye fulfill the royal law, According to the scripture, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself, ye do well. But if ye have respect to persons, ye commit sin, and are convinced of the law as transgressors. For whosoever shall keep the whole law, and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. So rend your hearts, and not your garments, my people. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. I am not ashamed of him who loved me to death and back to life again by the power of his resurrection. Those who keep his new covenant commandments of love will not perish with the world, but pass from death to life. I know what I was shown by him who circumcised my heart and the spirit. And he said, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Now let's see how many people can get on the same page of the book of life. It's not a book with ink on paper. And then I signed it St. Michael, Gardener, and Judge. And on the 
other side of where I signed it, I have written www.iwarwiththebeast.blogspot.com. And I leave a way for people to contact me. I don't talk to people on there. I don't think that there's a way on that blog spot that I've, that I've left open for them to write to me there, but I do tell people that there's a link to my YouTube channel on that blog spot. So I let them know that I get on YouTube every so often. I do not get on every day. Uh, but, you know, I'm letting people know this. And, uh, you know, a lot of people are wanting to talk about these things because of the pressure their perverted government is putting on them or this government that a lot of people have adopted and uh, now they're speaking more and more against so this is what I was led to do today was this video and People are getting this. They really are. The uh, the plan that the synagogue of Satan has to for total domination, then it's not going to come to fruition for them. It's just not going to happen because the more pressure that uh, people have on them. Years ago, uh, people weren't speaking like this against so-called Israel and and. Uh, you know, now that there's more and more things happening, and they're seeing uh, the corruption is is so obvious, you know, more and more, and people are talking about this, it's just not going to happen. These people are trying to pull something off that they're never going to be able to pull off. And, uh, you know, the people around here, uh, maybe not all of them, but a lot of people around here are ready to receive this information. Uh, this is the, the third time that I've been out. This is the third paper, as I mentioned in the part one of, of this video, uh, that I've put out in this area in Idaho Springs. And uh, people, you know, I'm coming back the third time and they're smiling at me. And I'm, I mean, I was trashing bad government and, and false ministers and those other papers pretty much like this you know and there's still you know there's people you know wanting to see <laughs> you know what I have to say in these writings so uh, you know I'm glad to see that thank you